CO2 reacts with two moles of hydrogen. We get formaldehyde and water. This is example number two now. We have four moles of CO2 and ten moles of hydrogen. We have four moles of CO2 and ten moles of the hydrogen. Now what are the questions? Number one, limiting reactant. Identify the limiting reactant. Second, excess reactant left. And third, mass of CH2O formed. So let us solve first of all the first portion that we are required to identify which of the following is the limiting reactant. Again, divide the molar quantities with the coefficients. The coefficient of carbon dioxide is 1. The coefficient of hydrogen is 2. Now the answer will be 4 here and here the answer will be 5. And the reactant in which we will get smaller answer that will be our limiting reactant. So this CO2 is the limiting reactant. So the first portion of the question that is solved, it is CO2. Now stop this at this point and listen to me very carefully. If the moles of the reactants are not given, but the mass of the reactant is given, then what will we do? Then we will first convert the mass into the moles. And after converting the mass into the moles, we will divide it with the coefficients and the reactant in which we will get smaller answer. That will be our limiting reactant. Excess reactant left behind. Now you are required to compare the limiting reactant with excess reactant. Limiting reactant is CO2, excess reactant is hydrogen. It is quite obvious from the equation that one mole of CO2 completely reacts with two moles of hydrogen. And how many moles we have? They are the four moles. So four moles will completely react with two into four, eight moles of hydrogen. This is the quantity of the hydrogen which is used. So eight moles are used. The total moles were 10 moles, 8 are used, so 2 moles are left behind. 2 moles of hydrogen are left behind. So excess reactant left is 2 mole. But if the mass is required, then you will multiply it with the molar mass of hydrogen, that is 2.016 or 2. So after multiplying, we will get 4 grams. Now let's solve the third portion. Mass of formaldehyde formed. Whenever the mass of the product is required, you will compare that product with the limiting reactant. So, <clears throat> limiting reactant is CO2 and product is CH2. According to the equation, we can see that 1 mole of CO2 produces 1 mole of CH2 and 4 moles will produce 4 moles. So the mass of CH2 produced, this is this one are the number of moles of CH2 which are produced, multiplied with its molar mass, 12 plus 2, 14 plus 16, 30. So we will get 120 gram. So the answer of the third part is 120 gram. These are actually the questions which are related to the MCQs. Identify the limiting reactant, how much excess reactant is left behind and mass of the product formed. All these quantities, all these questions can be asked in the MCQs, even in the short questions, when the molar quantities are the weights of the reactants are given.